Hello friends, today we are guiding you to prepare interview questions on Azure Resource Manager. In comments you can share the topic of your interest, our team will prepare the video for you. Before continue to our session, we request you to join our channel for all the latest updates. Our team of technical and subject matter experts are working hard to create valuable content just for you. So please make sure to hit the subscribe button, like and comment on our videos, and click the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos. What is the maximum number of resources you can have in an Azure resource group? In Azure, the maximum number of resources you can have in a single resource group is 800. This limit applies to any combination of resources, including virtual machines, storage accounts, networking components, and more. It's a soft limit set by Azure to ensure optimal performance and management of resources within a group. Resource Type Limits While the overall limit is 800 resources, certain resource types may have their own individual quotas. For example, specific services like virtual machines or network interfaces may have separate scaling limits, so it's important to review the limitations for each resource type. Scaling if you need to manage more than 800 resources, you can create multiple resource groups. Azure allows you to organize resources across as many resource groups as needed, enabling efficient management and scalability. Best Practices Although 800 is the default limit, it's recommended to logically distribute resources across multiple resource groups based on factors like application life cycle, access control, or geographical location. This helps improve security, performance, and easier management. Requesting limit increases. If your organization requires more resources within a single group, you can request a limit increase through Azure support. In summary, the default limit of 800 resources per group helps maintain efficient management and scaling in Azure. Can a resource exist outside of a resource group in Azure? In Azure, all resources must belong to a resource group. A resource cannot exist outside of a resource group. Resource groups serve as logical containers that help organize and manage Azure resources, and every resource you create, such as virtual machines, storage accounts, and databases, must be associated with one. However, resource groups themselves do not store the resources, they simply provide a way to group and manage related resources. The resources within a group share a common life cycle, meaning they can be managed together, monitored, and have access control policies applied at the resource group level. Location of resources While the resource group itself has a defined location, for metadata and management purposes, resources within the group can reside in different Azure regions. For example, a resource group can have resources located in both the East US and West Europe regions. Resource group deletion. If a resource group is deleted, all resources within it are also deleted, which is important to understand when managing resources across different groups. Moving resources. Although a resource must reside within a resource group, you can move resources between resource groups, provided the resources and groups meet specific requirements. In conclusion, all Azure resources must be part of a resource group for proper organization, management, and security. What happens to the resources inside a resource group if the resource group is deleted? When a resource group in Azure is deleted, all resources within that group are also deleted. This is an important behavior to understand, as it ensures the life cycle of resources is tightly coupled to their respective resource group. The deletion of the resource group triggers the deletion of all associated resources, including virtual machines, storage accounts, databases, and networking components. Reversible action Deleting a resource group is a permanent action. Once deleted, the resources cannot be recovered unless you have backups or other recovery mechanisms in place. It's crucial to ensure that the resources inside the group are no longer needed or are backed up before initiating the deletion process. Dependencies If resources in one group depend on resources in another group, deleting the resource group will not affect the dependent resources in other groups. However, such dependencies should be considered when planning deletions. Protection Mechanism Azure provides an option called Lock to prevent accidental deletion of a resource group or its resources. 
By applying a delete lock, you can prevent deletion until the lock is removed. In summary, deleting a resource group removes all resources contained within it, making it important to carefully plan and confirm before performing this action. How can you manage access to a resource group using Azure Back, role-based access control? You can manage access to a resource group in Azure using role-based access control, RBAC, which allows you to assign specific permissions to users, groups, or service principles at the resource group level. Back helps ensure that individuals or services only have access to the resources they need, enhancing security and governance. Key steps to manage access using Back are as follows. Assign roles. In Azure, you can assign built-in or custom roles to users, groups, or service principles at the resource group level. Some common built-in roles include, owner, full access to manage resources and assign roles. Contributor, can create and manage resources but cannot assign roles. Reader, can view resources but cannot modify them. Use the Azure portal, to assign a role, go to the resource group in the Azure portal, click on Access Control, IAM, and select Add Role Assignment. Choose the role and assign it to the user or group. Use Azure CLI or PowerShell, you can also assign roles via Azure CLI or PowerShell for automation. Custom Roles For more granular control, you can create custom roles tailored to specific permissions within the resource group. Using Azure Back, you can effectively manage who has access to your resource groups and what actions they can perform, improving security and compliance. Can a resource be moved between different resource groups? What are the considerations? Yes, in Azure, resources can be moved between different resource groups, but there are several important considerations to keep in mind before performing the operation. You can move resources between resource groups via the Azure portal, Azure CLI, or Azure PowerShell. The process involves selecting the resource group, choosing the resources to move, and then specifying the target resource group. Considerations for moving resources are as follows. Supported resources. Not all resources can be moved. Some Azure services, such as classic resources or those with certain dependencies, may not be movable. It's important to check the Azure documentation for a list of supported resources. Dependencies. When moving resources, you must ensure that no dependent resources are in a different region or resource group that could break the connection. Some resources have specific dependencies that must be handled carefully during the move. Resource locking. Resources with a delete lock applied cannot be moved until the lock is removed. Impact on availability. Moving resources might cause brief service interruptions, depending on the type of resource. Test during non-peak times if possible. Region constraints. You cannot move resources between regions, though they can be moved between resource groups within the same region. In summary, while moving resources between resource groups is possible, it requires careful consideration of dependencies, supported resources, and potential service impacts. Thanks for watching the video till the end. If you liked the video and haven't subscribed yet, please hit the subscribe button, like and comment on our videos, and click the bell icon to stay updated with our latest videos. In comments you can share the topic of your interest, our team will prepare the video for you.